<laughs> Dude, Luke, the printer's still busted. What the fuck, man? everybody welcome to episode 17 of the topless robot podcast my name is ryan i am brooks i'm tyler i'm dan and uh it has this is the first episode that we're recording in the new year yes it is yes it is and it was a good new year yeah everyone you had did everyone was doing their own thing no one yeah. came and did my thing well, yeah well, you were i, I was I, working there yeah. yes <laughs> I, I had a very impromptu uh friend of mine hit me up and was like hey we're Throwing a house party at your house. Really? <laughs> yeah. This is news to Here me. You no, All she, right. No, she, 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 hit me up, she hit me up, but like, we had like five hours to prep for this, and which like wasn't that big yeah. of a deal because our house is pretty party worthy. Um, party ready? I, I wouldn't say party ready. It's soiree ready. Cause like that's what it was. It wasn't a party. It was, it was a soiree. Mm. Did people... Uh, see, when you say soiree... What comes to mind is people showing up dressed to the nine with I mean, martini glasses. He's saying he's better than people who were throwing that's, parties. That's, that's what that I'm was, hearing. That was they don't of... have solo cups. They have like good, nice tumblers. And <laughs> I, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, we. Uh, I also like you said dressed to the nine, like just singular just nine. I said nines. No, you said, nine. You said nine. nine. I said nine. Yeah, you said nine. You said nine. I looked away as I said nine. I said nine. <laughs> nine. I heard nine. I, I said nine. Listen, I if nine. the microphone didn't pick it up, then it wasn't said. I yep. said nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nine. Uh, can we roll that back? <laughs> no. So, so, we'll see. Well, it, the, the mystery will be solved when we can actually watch <laughs> this video. I said nine. But what about the second? The, the, what about the, the the second shooter? What about the second shooter? We're gonna go roll back the tape and look at the guys. <laughs> 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 Find that Phantom S being shot from yeah, some right. mystery person behind Tyler. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> behind the green screen, just... <laughs> the Zap Bruder film. Uh, no, it was uh, kind of like a, oh, by the way, everyone dress up as nice you can. And so we had some people that complied, like myself, because it was my house. So um, Pretty easy for you to comply. Yeah, it's also, I, I'm also ready to jump into a suit at a moment's notice. Um, and out of a suit, I've seen it. Yes. <laughs> um... And then we had some people showing up from other things, and so it was a weird mix of people wearing ties and people wearing battle vests, and um, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I uh, I got drunk, uh, which is a very a very rare thing, mm -hmm. very rare thing for me. Um, and we listened to a lot of music and played a lot of beer pong and blah blah blah. Party sounds like a soiree. Sounds like, sounds oh, like cool. a party soiree. There was so you so you soireed. Yeah, there was champagne, okay? There were champagne. I'm sorry, champagne, I'm sorry. champagne like at Sparkling every... Sparkling wine. Uh, yes, absolutely. I mean, it, it is New Year's. It's, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I mean, I, weird I, flex, I, but I, okay. I can drink champagne any day What he was saying is that he week. couldn't afford champagne. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I mean... Some I, soiree, huh? I didn't pay for it. All champagne <laughs> that I you was get. the host, and they brought the champagne. Uh, I got a bag of chips. <laughs> well done. I got See, a bag of chips I, and pointing people toward meatloaf. So now meatloaf, actual meatloaf, or did you like put no on actual meatloaf? meatloaf? Because remember the bathroom. <laughs> well, he hasn't, oh, duh! He hasn't That's been. Right. I forgot yes. about the He's the only whole. No, but we told me. him. We told him about, uh, yeah. about it. Yeah. You told me about. The Let me pee on oh, it. it. <laughs> Let me pee on it. <laughs> well, I would share a thing for love. <laughs> I'll give you a jiggle in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and it, <laughs> I can see paradise by the bathroom lights. <laughs> Ain't yeah. no pow, doubt about it. I was how, doubly bland. How, how did your thing go? It went uh, a lot better than I thought it was mm -hmm. uh, at, at four o'clock on New Year's Eve because. When I created the event oh, so on Facebook, only water I invited a lot of people, you know, kind of expecting mm -hmm. not a lot of people to show up. But, you know, I wanted, I really did want to see a lot of people, see a lot of these people. And, but I, I was like, okay, there's no way everyone's going to say There's yes. no way this many people want to be at my exactly. house. Exactly. I just kind of assume that. Unnecessary self-loathing. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. I just kind of assume people, if they, if they have the choice between hanging out with me and going not to hanging soiree. out with me, they choose the latter. Yeah, but yeah. It's and fair, I think that's it's fair. A fair. I think yeah. that's fair. You know, so it, like at, at four o'clock on 
uh, New Year's Eve, there were 16 people RSVP to go. By seven, there was 32. Ah. ah. And I've never had that many people in my house. Weird oh, flex, wow. but okay. <laughs> And I'm sitting there like freaking out because I'm like, I don't, I've never had m- this many people in my house ever. Since I'm not you got good with a lot last of people. Year. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and also, I've never had this many people at my house. And like, I don't know how my neighbors are going to react. I don't know how, like, I've got fireworks, I've got all this shit. And I'm like, this is going to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I like literally had to call my friend and I'm like, hey, dude, I'm freaking out a little bit. And he's like, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. I'm not, I, I'm not party experienced i guess but it ended up being uh my pretty sweet, awesome my <laughs> sweet summer child i know <laughs> do i look like someone who has a lot of parties do i look like somebody that has a lot of parties yes yes okay yes yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> i'm I wearing a fez <laughs> weird flex but okay <laughs> my uh that's like the third weird flex but okay we're, we're kind of like <laughs> <laughs> we're really flex, just ringing, okay. ringing it dry. back a little bit that's so 2018. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Dan and I were at the grid thing with uh, mini bosses and bit mortis. Uh, and uh, I got drunk and then sober. And uh, I think we left at like five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I uh, I worked. So when I got off the clock after missing out on the New Year's festivities, mm-hmm. I was ready to drink some goddamn beers. So and drink away I did. Sad. Yeah. So we hung out and uh, until the... The wee hours of the get morning. To watch the ball drop. Not really. I mean, I was working. Yeah. Did you put the ball? No, I did. At all? I did the countdown. I just, you know, grabbed the mic and. To be fair, I don't know anyone that watches the ball drop that doesn't have children. That, that no. I, I put that, it on that, my that's TV. very well. Like just a bit on the people I know. That's more like a thing that I've seen like judging. a lot of my friends or acquaintances with children be like sure like oh hey we're gonna you know we're gonna stay up till 10 to watch the ball drop in New York and then you're going to bed I yeah know. that's fair yeah I put I put the ball on my television mm-hmm. screen if if for I the viewing pleasure of my m- awaiting masses in my house if no I no you just drop the ball undulating masses <laughs> if I wasn't hosting the the New Year's Eve shenanigans at, at the grid then I would have just gone to sleep probably at like nine mm. and been like yeah I'm, I'm done with this year let's just, just let's leave it. sleep <laughs> see i was i was drinking to kicking 2018 out the fucking window yeah. just so done with that year so done yeah. so i drank a lot and then had the worst hangover ever of my entire life Nice. New Year's Day. Nice. Which I, I I hear that you're having a little bit of an issue today. Oh, I, I don't know that I'd call it a hangover, but... It's a bangover. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yesterday I went to uh, uh, Retro City Fest in Pomona. Um, and it's a cool little festival. I guess it's their second year doing it. Huh? And it's focused on uh, collectors, like retro uh, collectors and uh, competitors. So, you know, most of their guests, they had the, one of their guests was the old host of uh, Nick Arcade. Oh, um, not Mark uh, Phil, uh, I think his name's Phil something? Phil Collins. No, that's not right. <laughs> Phil Swift. No, it's definitely um, not Phil Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this arcade machine in half. Phil Fillmore. <laughs> Phil <Moore. laughs> um, and uh, they had like... Uh, Nintendo World Championship uh, uh, winners. And, oh, wow. Uh, you know, from like 1990 and 1994 or finalists from the Nintendo World Championship uh, uh, Championship stuff. Uh, I've won Genesis those... Championship guy. Uh, hmm. And uh, someone who I was not... Because ex- I didn't really look at the guest list. So I didn't know who was going to be at this thing. Uh, but they had Billy Mitchell there. Uh, affectionately known... Uh, dubbed by Captain Awesome as Silly Mitchell. God, he's... <laughs> so uh, Apparently t- he's got a... Uh, ca- uh, Billy Mitchell has a brand of hot sauce. Yes, he does. I uh, totally pushed out, um, and, uh, it, like, the last thing I expected to do this weekend was shake hands with Billy Mitchell. And um, I, you know, were I a bit more uh, bold, hmm. I probably would have said something, you know... Along the lines of, uh, you know, hope that hot sauce uh, business is treating you well because <laughs> gaming doesn't want you. I, I would have asked him what his favorite emulator is. 
Did you replace the the va- now vacant are you spot a, for are that trophy with your hot sauce? Or are you a main guy or are you retro arch? Uh, oh <laughs> Well, what do you think about yeah. Raspberry Pi and an innovation? <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> For everyone who doesn't understand and, uh, hear this, that's a, Walter that's Day. Pie. That's yeah. that's the name of the other guy. Walter, Walter Day, Day was there. So Walter Day and Billy Mitchell were hanging out uh by the Donkey Kong uh cabinet. You, you I, I love choice creep shots. There. I love that yeah. that, that subtly uh, that in the Wreck It Ralph movies, just subtly, they just kind of inserted Walter Day in. Really? Well, so the the guy that owns the arcade that they're all in, yeah, looks exactly like him, and he's wearing the uh, outfit and oh stuff like that. Oh my god! And I was just kind I of didn't think about right. that. I, yeah. didn't, I, I did not make that. that connection yeah. at all. Holy shit! Yeah. Well, when you're a true gamer like I am, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. Um, up. I ended up going out out to this thing because uh, mini bosses asked me if I wanted to tag along. Yeah, like, yeah, sure. And uh, the fairgrounds, the Pomona fairgrounds, are huge, huge. just enormous. I mean, it's it could practically be its own town. Really? And Holy shit. you uh, it's pretty big. Go in there, and they. Uh, the stage was very cool. It was an outdoor stage. Mm. So it was around this, uh, f- uh, in this food court area. So there were these basically like circus food, you know, kind of uh, oh, shops yeah. and stuff. Did you get a bunch of fried food? No. I did you it. eat any fried I did not Oreos? Buy a, I did not buy a $20 hot dog. Or fried you didn't butter? Get fried Kool Aid? No. No. Uh, but it was a great show. Um, uh, not the American Koopas guy. played, the Megas played, uh, oh, Super Madness, and uh, Mini Bosses. Is Super Madness like mm. like a 16-bit version of Madness? Or? <laughs> 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 um, and uh, I, you know, you know, they didn't ask me to come along for any specific reason. Just, you know, come hang out and, mm. you know. Uh, but, uh, they never have a merch guy. Usually they do their own merch and, you know, I've got experience slaying in merch. So while they were playing, I was manning the merch, uh, table. I love slinging merch. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I love, I love harassing, uh, uh, I love harassing like meek, meek individuals that are considering buying something yeah. and be like, all right, what, what size are you? Just that's the first question. What's your size? Okay, cool. I got it here. It's fifteen bucks. I'm just imagining yeah. you walking around, like not even behind the booth. You're like you're going around to random people in the show, just like, what's your size? No, uh, I, I'll ask them their size. I'll be like, follow me. I'll be like, you know, you know what would make you cooler? Because I always pick like the the dorkiest guys that are like hanging out, kind of around the merch table, because it's toward the back of the venue or something yeah. like that. Be like, hey, you know, how you look really cool. You can pick up chicks if you buy the shirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. I know the yeah. truth. <laughs> no, I I just love uh, chatting with people. So and, do I, man. And you know, uh, just being like I dial everything up when I'm uh, behind the the you know uh, merch table. And uh, there was one one CD that we were selling that uh, is an EP. We were selling for five bucks. But there's no real identifying markings on it. Like, it's artwork front, artwork back, and there's no song list or anything like that. Ooh. I had no idea what was on it, so I was telling people that. I was like, I don't know what it is. It's five bucks. You know, like... and <laughs> Buy it, idiot. Yeah, basically. Buy it, stupid. Come on, sold, sold a whole bunch of them. Learned that it was a split uh, between uh, uh, mini bosses and uh, some indie band. I was I'm sure at five dollars, it was one of the most affordable things at that entire yeah. place. Yeah. So... Yeah, that, that's a steal. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, we were just you're selling, basically losing money we if you don't buy it. The the <laughs> uh, CDs, brass and and brass too, uh, uh, for ten bucks a pop, and you know, just like normal. Yeah, yeah. Normal Sh- show, show, prices. Yeah, show prices. Yeah, normal yeah. normal prices for that are you know <laughs> you much have... much higher in light of the whole convention surrounding yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. Well, and fortunately, so I don't know if uh, you guys know that this is the thing, but this is a thing. Uh, when you're on tour, some of the uh, larger venues uh, will charge a uh, will take a percentage of your merch sales. That's really? fucked up. I yeah. didn't know that. That's it's bullshit. super fucked up. 
Uh, they have absolutely no right to that. They have received plenty of fucking money from all the people coming into the club. Is that so, they so, don't need a merch percentage. Is is that something that like comes in a contract, or is it just kind of like, a, oh, we need blah, blah, blah from I you? I think it's contra uh, well, that's, a contract. I mean, you would have to. Really sure. Otherwise, you could just say, I'm not giving you this fucking money. Yeah. This is our merchandise that I sold so I can afford to continue touring and not starve or it's run out of gas. It's our merchandise that I sold... I carried into the venue, I set up, you know, like, you did literally nothing, but give me a corner to stand in. Oh, you know what I would do? i just sell it in the parking lot. Yeah. Honestly, sell yeah. in the parking yeah, lot. you could. Honestly, fuck I would you. do exactly yeah. that, because yeah. fuck that shit. Yeah. yeah, that's bullshit. Big venues have already taken enough away mm -hmm. from small artists and everything like that. Come on, that's, that's fucking... First that's big pharma, wrong. now big venue. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, a venue is already charging you an upfront operating cost in order yeah. to use oh. the space, and then charging you like eight to ten dollars for a can of PBR. Yeah, do they when do this for like opening ten bands PBRs too? for that price? Like, like if it's like a I think local so. opener, or is it just the headliner? Um, I think they do. I'm not sure if it's because be... I've never been in the situation right. of being the local on the bill getting charged a merch, you know, uh, merch fee. But uh, yeah. jokes on them. I don't have any merch. It's, so <laughs> it's just so dumb. Man. You should definitely have a Gander <laughs> Speedo collection. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just your face on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it but it's on the inside. <laughs> oh, like wow. <laughs> Make a Gander shirt that's just you shirtless on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. No, 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 no. It's one of those character shirts, you know, like like you can buy like a Spider-Man t-shirt or like an X-Men shirt that looks like whatever character you're supposed oh, yeah, to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just, it's just my it's chest. It's just your torso. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. For those of you who don't know, Brooks always takes his shirt off while he's performing. I yeah. take my pants yeah. off, too. Yeah, yeah and his he pants. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, my, it's my chest. But with like various like f like sauce dripping, <laughs> yeah. uh, like some mustard right here. Yeah. Yeah. That would be barbecue amazing. Barbecue sauce, or like some ranch, and like maybe like a chip or something. A hot like that. Cheeto, a hot Cheeto, kind of like <laughs> coiled up in a chest hair. Like, <laughs> some, some Takis, <laughs> some Takis to branch out to the younger oh, the younger man. viewers. <laughs> God. Set me free. <laughs> <laughs> I want to break free. I want to get out. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. But uh, after all that, um, we uh, went out drinking. Uh, well, actually, uh, because we didn't want to pay fairgrounds prices for alcohol, uh, no. we went to the really? liquor store and just bought a couple of cases and, and drank them backstage. Uh, and but a gross of Mickey's and uh, one of the things of sun chips. Uh, one of the things that I got, because uh, I love, you guys know I love sours, yep. uh, and I uh, saw one that I'd never had before, uh, Avenue's uh, Sour Monkey, um, and it was very, very tasty. I do like monkeys. And uh, it, uh, pretty much all of their beers are named something monkey. This sounds like my heaven. Yeah. Continue. It's a really weird thing. To learn, I like monkeys, okay? I'm sorry. Weird yeah. flex, but okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why somebody hasn't done it yet, but they haven't. They need to have a sour called Sour, Sour, Sour Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I, I'm two beers in and I start feeling a buzz. I'm like, that's weird. I've only had two of these, and I look at the can, 9.5. Well, you're also used to drinking Beauregard, which is a sub-5% yeah. beer. Well, and most sours are, you know... Pretty low, yeah. ...in that low range. Certainly not 9.5. No. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, most of what I tend to uh, casually drink is, like, 5.5, five, 6 tops. Oh, yeah, I've gotten real surprisingly fucked up on that Sour K. Uh, that Four Sons beer is awesome, oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. also it's around 9%, and I did not know that, and I had two yep. of them and went, wait, what's going on here, man? <laughs> yeah, as you know, some, Why am I some, drunk? Nights, some nights when I crack a can of Barks and I realize there's caffeine in it, I just, you know, <laughs> sh, man. Yeah. You're just up <laughs> way just, past <laughs> your bedtime. I just start <laughs> jittering around my house. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> I dialed it back so as to not overdo it and just started drinking the Sierra Nevada that we'd picked up. Yeah. Um, and well, like Hop yeah. Ranger or something like that? No, uh, I can't remember which one it was. Um, and uh, we went to a restaurant called like Boulevard or something uh, afterwards. So I had uh, some sliders and two lychee cocktails. Yes. And then uh, we finished off the night at... Um, uh, and apparently Aaron told me that I got a beer too. I don't remember getting a beer at, at you Boulevard. You lush. 
Um, wow. Drunkard. And uh, I young... don't remember calling Jasmine either. Apparently, I called Jasmine. And she what was out getting her? a beer. Uh, uh, Brooks! <laughs> um, so... <laughs> <laughs> we finished out <laughs> we finished out the night at the hotel bar and uh, um getting frisky at cocktail hour at the holiday inn. But you know, the <laughs> <laughs> hotel bar closed at like ten thirty and we just went to our room and went to go to sleep because we we're leaving early this morning. And uh apparently and I think it was my acid reflux that did it, but while I was asleep, uh I started throwing up and just black vomit. All, all over on the pullout, uh, uh, pullout bed, and uh, yeah, that was unpleasant. A high point, I haven't, you might, someone might say. I haven't you just closed the sofa bed and <laughs> I haven't put the grown up from, back on from being too drunk in fucking forever. Like it just it didn't make sense to me. So I, I think that it was the uh, acid reflux because the next day, man, uh, my you know acid reflux was acting up, and really, really sucked, but. Yeah, that was unpleasant. That's what you get, old man. <laughs> How many times do we need Your to teach you this come. lesson? <laughs> Your time will come. Uh, so that was my, you know, Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. We drove back this morning, got back into town around 1.30. Sounds my, like a lot of fun. Yeah. My Saturday involved going to a random show and and then going to a random karaoke place and Messing with the vibe by performing Heaven is a Place on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> My Saturday also involved random karaoke. Really? It did. Singing in the shower doesn't count. I went to the 480 bar in, in, near downtown Chandler. Never heard of it. No. I just was looking up. I was like, I, I was sitting at home, the, the, lonely, sad, as I want to do on Saturday nights. Uh, <laughs> is that, is yeah. that the one next to that like suspiciously inexpensive drifter motel? I think that, so. That like looks like a place you'd see like T two. You know. All huh. I know is that I stepped out of my Uber and was like, Sorry, "This isn't the right place," because <laughs> I'm looking around and I'm like, "I look. Like, I feel like I might get stabbed here." Is I'm not seeing a bar. Do so they like, call? Did the, you intend to go I? to this bar, this specific bar, or did, did they just drop you off? I and thought, you, went, you know what? That looks like a bar. I <laughs> I thought that it was in downtown Chandler, but it's like. Just a half mile north no, it's, of downtown Chandler. It, it's, it's like north of Chandler High. Yeah. Uh, be, I'm glad that you went there and not El Coyote. Cause yeah, right across that, the street. That is, that is, that is a rough thing. You would be dead right bar. now. I was, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. You'd be in the trunk of a Buick somewhere in Tucson by now. <laughs> I like got out and I'm like, oh no, I am not in the right spot, but we're going to figure this out. So I went into the bar and uh, had a great time. Met the cool. bassist. Uh, for the John Jay and Rich band, <laughs> well, I have no idea what that is. Do you know who John Jay and Rich are? No. Well, it's a spinoff of John Jiggle Jingle Harry Smith. Yes. Right. Wait, what? Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, like, John oh, Jay and Brooks Rich is, is a popular. Jokes, and then you're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, John Jay and Rich is a popular morning talk show. Oh, I don't do Doctor Drew. I don't know. This really middle aged middle aged uh, housewives thing, listen to it. Syndicated they're thing? they're syndicated. They're I think they're based out of LA. Okay. And, uh, but uh, th they had their own band, which I didn't know, and uh, met the bassist. This guy it was fucking with you. No, I looked this it up. This guy was absolutely fucking with you. I looked it up. Because no radio show has drinks. a band. <laughs> yeah. I looked it up. I, I, and he's he's sitting there on the cover, and it's it's with uh, one of them. Yeah, and he edited that Wikipedia. Yeah, he Maybe. definitely <laughs> edited it because they don't put bass players on the cover of anything. No, it's it's the whole band, but I, he was right there in the... Yeah, no, even when it's the whole band, they don't put the bass player on the cover no, of anything. No, to self, Larissa's going to go the, on the uh, Okay, the so it's the Rich, <laughs> Rich Barra Band huh. is what the name of it is, right. uh, of them. And uh, if you look it up Rich there, Barra Band? Rich Barra Band. Uh, Rich is part of John Jay and Rich. And uh, he You is, don't say. Yes. John Jay and Dick. But... Long story short, got adopted by random people. Got really by him and his wife. It was very strange. It was a very weird night. I got really drunk, and they're like, just like, you're the best. We're gonna set you up with people. Oh, you're a great singer. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And uh, that's that's how my my Saturday night went. It was uh, it was an interesting, fun night. So you hung out with John Jay in middle class, pretty much. All right, okay, pretty much. To uh, to the point of 
Brooks, you were messing with the vibe of a karaoke bar. <laughs> I totally think that's a great thing to do. I love it. There are a staggering mm-hmm. amount of like shitty, sad boy karaoke bars out there, mm-hmm. and it's boring. And I'm sorry that you're down on yourself, but God, like go out and have fun. Yeah. If the whole point is you being sad yeah, don't and you're go out, out of your to house, be sad in public. Go out to stop being sad. Exactly. Which is which is why I had to do it. I was also still riding that high from seeing uh, that episode of Black Mirror. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, San San Junipero. San Junipero. Yep. Every time um, you keep saying Black Mirror, I'm like Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. I haven't seen Benedict's Black, I haven't, Bandersnatch. I haven't seen Bandersnatch. My my interest in Bandersnatch has waned in the last week. I still I'm gonna do it just because, but like Bandersnatch, Crambly Pants. Uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, the the urgency to view it is uh, has diminished in my. I, I I finally watched the whole thing, a few times. Got a whole bunch of different. Oh, John endings. Carpenter's the thing, right? Exactly. One of the best movies ever made of all time. Preach. Who, unfortunately, we lost uh, lost uh, an actor recently uh, from that uh, that I didn't know. Wilford Brimley? Uh, n- no, but the old guy, uh, the um, uh, captain, the one when they're tied down uh, and they're testing everyone's blood. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, I forgot what his I name is. I can't remember. Uh, captain Lou Albano. Um <laughs> Don't think we like we. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, I think he died right at the end of the year. Uh, this guy, Donald. Oh, Martin. Donald Moffat. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, dis- uh, died on December twentieth. Yeah. From Sleepy Hollow. Logan's Lord. Run. Renew, Lord. citizen. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> it is. Sad. Uh, and we started this year with a couple of sad losses. Well, who was he in the right stuff? Uh, well. The right stuff. Da, da, da. No. Oh, sorry. No. No, we we shan't we shan't be speaking poorly of the of the film The Right Stuff. It is one of the white stuff. Oh 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 What's in the middle? I am one hundred percent lost right now. So <laughs> it's a weird owl. Okay. I was like, I've gotten about zero of the references in the last five minutes. <laughs> Uh, get good. <laughs> yeah. I'm so out of touch, noob. Fire up your emotional <laughs> DOS box and let's run some fucking abandonware. <laughs> oh, Donald Moffat was Lyndon B. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ed okay. Harris was in that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone yeah. everyone is in this movie. Yeah, man. Damn, Dennis Quaid. Yeah. I need to see this movie. My favorite actor is Dennis Quaid. <laughs> <laughs> um... I love Ed Harris so much. But yeah, we started this year with a couple of sad losses. Uh, mean Gene. Yep. Uh, oh. And uh, Super Gene. Dave Os- Osborne. Uh, both of them died at the beginning of the year. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, we also lost, uh, though uh, I never listened to them, we lost the captain. Uh, yes. And captain and Tennille. Uh, I'm not a hu- I'm not been a huge Captain and Tennille fan. Or Tennille, but, that's what it is. Uh, but, I mean, the captain is still important. I've heard of the Captain and Tennille. I don't really. I have to me, Captain Tennille was mostly used as a punchline for yes, like yep. stuff that old people like. Yep. Yep. But yeah, it's sad. But yeah. It is uh, a new year and people will continue dying. <laughs> a new year and a new me. Honestly, I'd be a little bit more worried if people didn't continue if dying. Just stop, if it stopped just stopped dying. and then then I'd start wondering, are we in Black Mirror episode? Yeah, <laughs> right. Are we in a time loop? Well, I mean, that has been uh, a plot. Should we do the time warp again? No. Oh, God. No. (laughs) You've had your fun! (laughs) Should we do the time warp again? Are we in a time loop? Should we do the time warp again? (laughs) (laughs) No, you can't appropriate that. It doesn't belong to you. (laughs) Guys sound like a bunch of sea lions. (laughs) For those not in the know, we are imitating Jimmy Carr, uh, his uh, very unique... And his delightful, uh, delightful laugh. laugh. His yeah. delightful and rustling laugh. It's, it's. Uh... We're just gonna play a, a little, uh, a little Jimmy Carr laugh here. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> David, was it? <laughs> <laughs> to stay together. Yeah. Check it. Oh, it's so good. It's the best. It's like being it on a wharf. Just so good. <laughs> this brings memories of San Francisco to mind. <laughs> 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 The seals, the clam chowder. Oh, uh, there's sea lions. There's a difference. Sorry, 
I like that that impossible cringe video has Skrillex as its uh, yeah, that's definitely uh, thumbnail. Skrillex. We should we should check that out later. <laughs> <laughs> we should uh, tie Dan down and make him watch it. Yes. Man, I cannot handle cringe comps, dude. I don't know what it is. They're they're so hit or miss. There's certain things in there that are funny, and it's usually when people get hurt. Um, <laughs> it, it's the actual cringe that doesn't make me laugh. And it's when you just watch someone do something that's that's so awkward that the suffering comes out of the computer screen you're watching it on, and that it just permeates the I've air. Actually, and, that years, seen... and that years later, white, um, old white politicians will try to use that as a as a negative thing toward oh, your being there. My <laughs> God. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Well, uh, you dorks playing any good video games lately? Uh, what's the what is that? Uh, <laughs> Lots of video games. Um, after watching uh, Bear Taffy play uh, through uh, Celeste, I uh, started playing Celeste again. Mm. Uh, Celeste is an amazing, amazing game. Like, a ton of fun. It can also be mm. ball-bustingly difficult. Yes, absolutely. And How are you handling that? I'm fine with it. Okay. Yeah. No, I love... Uh, platforming difficulty. I love, you know, ball-bustingly difficult platformers. So, like, The End is Nigh, Super Meat Boy, uh, and Celeste, I, I'm a big fan of those. Okay. Yeah. The mechanics of Celeste uh, are really, really good. They, uh, it, controls are super tight, and uh, uh, it's pretty. It's got a great soundtrack. Um, and they introduce, like, each level, they introduce some new mechanic that's specific to that level. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. A lot on of level very, five, you get very Dave. difficult platforming. It is also one of I those kind of game. insanely satisfying games to watch either be speedrun or tast. It's incredible. It's, there's, it's just great to watch the whole way through. It's so interesting. That yep. game is awesome. Yep. Well, this week, I decided to trade in Detective Pikachu. Oh, yeah, not a fan. That, well, it's for a real Pokemon. It, yeah, game. I wanted to get a real Pokemon game because I was, you know, the more because like I I fired it up like once mm -hmm. and played through it. And I was like, oh, this is nice because like I like, um, I like detective stuff. I like playing games like you know like that. Like like I'm a huge Phoenix Wright guy. Oh yeah, um, yeah, me too. I love me some Phoenix Wright, but um, I was just like not wanting to pick it up again just because it was like nothing exciting or new, and I'm like. All right, I'm gonna. I traded it in, and I picked up Pokemon Moon because I've not played a Pokemon uh, like handheld game since like Red, Blue, and Yellow. Mm -hmm. And you know, for Fucking years, Jed Waters. for for years, uh, yeah, for years, I looked down my nose at like, oh man, they just keep adding to it, and I was like, all right, this is like the seventh generation uh, series here. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna jump in, and it's been. Absolutely wonderful because it's everything. Everything that I like about about the original ones has you know is still there, but I'm not emotionally invested in, in any of in most of the Pokemon because it's like I don't even know who these guys are. But yep. it's still fun and cool so far. It's and, not not any of the uh, the original what 131 were there 150 131. Uh, well, I don't know. I thought it was some weird number. 131. Fuck if I know, man. Well, 151. I didn't. Uh, I didn't grow that's, up. That's personally insulting. I didn't grow up playing Pokemon. Personally insulting. And uh, because I'm much older than you. This is true. He's like 50. <laughs> I missed the boat on Pokemon. It We've was, talked about when this he was before. born. It, uh, TV I, was still in black and white. The the, the appeal was that uh, no, he was watching a kinesioscope because they didn't have broadcast. Oh, no, but right. when I was <laughs> a kid, we did have a TV with the turn knob. Uh, turn knobs. Oh God! No yeah, I too have lived in a trailer park. No, <laughs> <laughs> no um, uh, I what I like what I the the thing that was the extra cherry on top is the fact that it's like set in like Hawaii, kind of like the Pokemon yeah, version of Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, the Alola and the yeah. Alola thing and. I like it because uh, I I spent some time living in Hawaii when I was a kid, and uh, just the little in jokes so far that I've noticed, like uh, Howley hey, City, hey. and it's just like eh, this is the uh, it means white person city. <laughs> uh, it's it's the the tourist spot. Casual racism know, a little it's, bit. It's, but. <laughs> the, it's the tourist spot, and I'm just kind of giggling because I'm like eh, I, I I got the joke. I got this one. <laughs> you're like I, I am one, one of those. <laughs> I got this one. I also found out that there's there's a Pokemon. He's uh, not technically. That's uh, yeah, I'm not. Not technically a Howley. No, no, I'm Korean. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Check Jeez. your privilege. Never mind. 
But uh, if you walked onto the island, I guarantee you most of most people would look at you and be like, Howley. It's not a Howley, yeah. he's just a Lee. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, a good one. That was, a good one. <laughs> that was okay. That was okay. Um but I guess considering it's racial humor, we should defer to uh, yeah. Brooks as to whether it's a joke or not. My culture is not <laughs> culture is not your sandwich topping. <laughs> okay. Um, no. Uh, but to, to, to finish up the, the Pokemon thing, I, I really am liking being being back and not being a snob anymore about it because there's no point and it's fun. You're happy that you're not a Pokemon snob anymore. Yeah. Well, well I mean, like I just or, don't care. I, I just don't I feel like it's pointless to be a snob or, or a, a gatekeeper or you know oh, yeah, like absolutely. any of that kind of thing in, in any game absolutely Let us, especially about Pokemon though yeah right it's yeah it's got it's very silly to 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 be so elitist about something so like accessible yeah you know what I mean and there's there's fun. there's They're nothing daunting fun. about Pokemon I mean yeah. uh, you, imagine being a gatekeeper for something equally as Silly, but that wasn't a video game. Like being like a Full House gatekeeper. <laughs> so, yeah, I was, like, I was gonna say like a children's cartoon gatekeeper or something. That's yeah. that's exactly yeah, what yeah. it yeah. feels like. You're yeah. not allowed to like Transformers unless you could tell me the the you know the voice acting cast for the original movie. How <laughs> many hairs on his head does Eddie have from Ed 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 Eddie? Is that wrong, poser? <laughs> Three. <laughs> is is that Mary Kate or Ashley? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can't correctly. tell. The answer will surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, how many times does Uncle Joey go through a wardrobe change or a different hairdo in Full House? <laughs> fast and fast, fast, fast and blue. Uh, <laughs> I hate. I, hate uh, I hated that puppet. I hated that stupid puppet that he had. I just hated Uncle Joey because uh, when I was a kid, because he was like. Uh, uh, like a you lamer version of Jeff Daniels to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could see that. I could see that. No, I don't care. So not a not a Dave Couillet fan, huh? <laughs> I love Dave. Couillet that makes so that makes much. you and Alanis more set. Isn't it ironic? <laughs> uh, uh, it's like Rain. You know, on, on a, on a did did she day? did she go down on you in a theater? God. If you get down, oh man, I'll get down. Oh. Did I show you? I made you guys watch that, right? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> Did I make you watch that? Probably. That B44 video? Yes. The, the one with the yep. basketball? Yep. Oh my God. That's fucking hilarious. You got to pull that shit up right now. Okay. I, I got to share. I mean, I'm sure we can't really yeah, play we it on air. That's the problem. Not. We'll, Let's look at it yeah, after. Okay, we'll yeah. look at it later. We might get copyright uh, Yeah, that's for that. a good point. But it's in a very embarrassing music video from Canada in like okay. 2002. Okay. Okay. And it is literally. Is it is it basically B, what they they modeled uh, Robin Sparkles after? From no, the way worse, oh, way, 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 oh, really? way, 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 way. I'm worse. excited now. Yeah. It's, it's I'm excited. Like, it's like the 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 dregs of the boy band thing. Yep. Okay. Except they all look like Jersey Shore rejects in this band. It's really funny. Yeah, the wow. music video is so funny. Wow. I am very excited for this. And, what and, are they and, called? And, uh, so B44. Uh, As in. Two Eight words, B, or as in there are three of them. So B four four, as in three comes before four, and there's three of them. Get it? No. God, you're stupid. <laughs> I, I don't get it at Look all. At them. Yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds what like a wonderful train. Wow. Right? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, that's terrible. wow. Yeah, but there's a music video and it's embarrassing. B four four. I saw you out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like trying to ignore you the whole time. I'm like, nope, he'll stop. He'll stop. I was wrong. <laughs> All right, so at least I can look up B44 uh, so we can get uh, some imagery. Yes. Right? Um, uh, I don't know if you're going to find it, to be honest. It, it was... No, no, just B44. Yep, oh! that's them. That's them. Wow. <laughs> I have seen See it. That one? Wow. It's like if Titus oh, multiplied Canada. Himself. Not my home nor native land. And I think after seeing this, a lot of Canadians are going, not mine either. All three of them could be main characters in a Final Fantasy game. Did I just hear the doorbell? I didn't hear anything. Okay. Weird. Do you think he laughs? Uh oh, as guys. As Titus looks says? like Ryan's on crack. <laughs> Not again. That just makes me think of the Left Right song. 
I'm on crack. <laughs> but yes, yes. That's a thing. That is that a is B44 about what? That what? first picture is the, the vice the vice one. About bullies and blowjobs? Yes. Wait, that's Justin Timberlake. Were B44 did B44 receive blowjobs from Backstreet Boys? Get Down is the name of the song. They play in Vegas now. Oh my god. Well, this is in 2013. Wow. Oh man. Brooks, why did you have to introduce this to my life? <laughs> Something hold on. Something is going on here. I don't What happened? Did you put it on wrong? What did you do? Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> well, Minecraft zombie. Why was that in your... What? His hearing went a little dead for a while. So... <laughs> uh, uh, um, bro. So... Uh, I collect all manner of, of things, and, and for a while... Do was, you? Uh, I would not have... I was... uh, I'm, I'm more of a col stuff collector myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I collect stuff as well, but I, I tend to focus on I, things. I dabble in things. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was collecting the Minecraft uh, minifigs, and I ended up with... Uh, they're like they're blind bags, so yeah, yeah. You, know, you end up with duplicates. And I, I love up... and hate blind bags. Yeah, me too. Um, I tend, I look for the stamp number and, and try to never buy the same number, mm. uh, you know, so I go by, I go by weight. I go oh, by yeah. weight because uh, I, I've, I've had pretty good luck as far as like picking up a box and shaking it and then looking at the one in the back. I'm like, okay, he does the, it's like the Indiana Jones each, sand. He does thing. the Christmas so Eve method. Each, of, each, <laughs> each manufacturing run of, uh, uh, blind bag figures, uh, each bag, each figure has its own code for that for that run mm -hmm. that gets uh if it's a bag one uh it gets imprinted in like a divot yeah and uh if it's a box one sometimes it gets like printed onto the box mm -hmm. so for that manufacturing run if you want to make sure that you're you get all of you know the series in one go yeah just buy out of one display box every number different the number of figures that there are in oh. the series and you will not get duplicates I oh did you I cut out i've lost my left ear phone oh. Life pro tips from Ryan. What one are you on? That's pretty sick. Do actually, I believe we may have had this issue on Wednesday. Right? Yes, we did. It's that one. All right. So, um. Anyway. Cool. I ended up with uh duplicates of this zombie at the door, and uh, I have no idea how it started or why, but Jasmine and I would uh just put them and hide them in strange places oh, okay. around uh, each other and be like she pranked you zombie how did you get there and like before i went to uh pomona uh she uh left me some of her tip money uh because her you know uh it's her share of you know the house and bills and stuff like that mm -hmm. and so she put it in my wallet and i put my pants on my wallet felt weird like it seemed fat i'm like there's not that much in what the hell and i pull it out and there's zombie <laughs> in my wallet wrapped in a message <laughs> that's or, adorable you guys are so cute i uh, i just want to know how she fit all the cranberries in your wallet like that <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um i've uh left it in her parking brake uh lever uh before just zombie I just want to really quick point out: Has that been in your headphone this entire yes. time? Yes. And you only wow. just took you a while. noticed. Yes. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Wow. All right. <laughs> Zombie launcher. <Almost> got it. <laughs> <laughs> These are the featured callbacks from this week. Uh, <laughs> we haven't we haven't gotten a launcher in yet. So. No, I, I just did. Yeah. Oh, did you? Did yeah, you just it? did. You missed, missed it. it. I missed it. Apparently, I was not listening to you. You're a See, I, I tend tend to tune you out sometimes. <laughs> uh, can you guys hear? Some, can you guys hear sound from his mic? I I can't. Uh, I, I, can't. <laughs> I love that you guys love this so much. I hate it so much. What are you talking it's about? So yeah, nothing's wrong. This is how I always look. <laughs> Well, these, are, these are my real clothes. No. <laughs> Gaze upon his visage if you dare. 
Yeah. It hurts my soul. Hey, hey Tyler. What's that? No. Hey, Tyler. Look. Shut up. Tyler, look. Dan's trying. This isn't Bird Box, okay? Dan, Dan is trying to talk to you. Bird Box. Why? Why are you ignoring Dan, ignoring Dan? That's really mean. Do how, I need to get my blindfold, Ryan? Do how, I need to get my how blindfold? Dare you, and, how and dare go you? Go down some. Uh, go down some rapids with some, some children. Is that what you're doing? Did you see that people are doing the Bird Box challenge? Like, I that's have. A thing. People what, are fucking weird. What, <laughs> blindfold yourself and do tasks. Menial tasks. Yeah, pretty much. People I are fucking care. weird. It's. There have been so many things about, <laughs> about that movie that have, you know, caused so many things that I just I, do not like. I just I just don't understand all. I, I guess I get the I hate enjoyed of, the movie. But. The movie was a good movie. Oh, my God. My hands kind of like separated for a second. <laughs> I'm hating this just so much. Just look. No, I've It'll already done that. It'll quicker if you just look. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> For the audio listeners, uh, Dan's... Uh, oh, are we actually back? D oh, we've been back. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, for the uh, audio listeners, uh, Dan uh, is, is looking Mira. perfectly normal. No. And uh, uh, Tyler stand. can't stand uh, how Dan looks. I Tyler stand hates Dan. Dan's face. I can't and stand. I, I understand, but... Also, I do have feelings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really mean. You're gonna you're gonna have to leave this room at some point today. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you and know, Dan is Dan is gatekeeping. I, I can close my eyes. All man, considering, I'll push you over. <laughs> considering the amount that you go to the grid, and Dan works. No shit. That's just a new thing now, Dan. Yep. I guess I can't go on yep. Rock Band Mondays you've got, anymore. You've got a new button to push. I can't. Yeah, to, absolutely. I yeah. can't go to Rock Band Mondays anymore. <laughs> Sorry. You have to. You absolutely I have know. to. I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it has been weird not being there the last two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think what you should do next week is get two monocles. I wish. And then just... I've thought about buying the... Uh... The SMBC disposable monocle. Have you seen those? Mm, those no. are fucking great. So uh, it's a webcomic. Have you heard of SMBC? Yeah, Saturday morning breakfast. Yeah, they, they come in like a condom package. <laughs> and it's, it's a disposable one-time use monocle. Like they actually sell this? Yes, this it's a, a real. It is a real that thing buy? that you can okay. buy. That is my favorite webcomic. Yes, let SMBC me, it is let fucking me awesome. Very clear. That is SMBC my favorite is webcomic. Fucking incredible. Uh, my favorite webcomic is Perry Bible Fellowship. Thank you. Perry Bible Fellowship that one is, is also amazing. pretty good. Too bad it only updates like once a year if you're lucky. Maybe once yeah. every art, few years. The art SMBC art is, is like a, like you know you get a you get a couple of new ones every week. Where's oh store? I am a I've I've been sucked down the rabbit hole of questionable content and dumbing of age. Gentlemen, single long. use unlubricated monocles. Yep. Do they have lubricated ones? Because you know sometimes Triple I change. Pack. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I love these things. Okay, we need to get these, and we need yes, to uh, yes. do yeah. an unboxing, and then also wear them. Yeah, the uh, absolutely on the, on the podcast sometime. That's amazing. We'll all have you can buy a triple pack or a single mom. God damn it! There's four of us. Someone has to die. Yep, <laughs> yep. Or we'll just throw you back in the in the basement. Listen, uh, you don't uh, have the strength. You can't even look me in the eyes. It's an unpopular opinion, but uh, I prefer uh, unprotected viewing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifestyle choice of mine, and. Uh, I mean, I know it's how you get conjunctivitis. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels better without. <laughs> feels better without a monocle. Like. Yeah. Well, nah, don't I don't hate what there. you can't appreciate. Why? Why do you want to uh, desensitize my my eyes? <laughs> I can pull out whenever I need to. <laughs> <laughs> I can see whenever I want to. <laughs> no, as we we've seen, Tyler can control his sight pretty well. He 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 uh, can yeah. prevent himself from looking at things that he doesn't want to look at. I can, but for I how can. long? That's a wait, very very wait. good question. I think I've already start. I've already broken like once or twice. Oh god damn it! Now it's on both sides. I hate both of you so much. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. It's like uncomfortable. It's it's weird. I don't know why, but this is making my hackles raise. This is weird. No. Stop it! You fucks. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Roller. I can't believe we found the one button. I don't know why it's the a button. One it shouldn't just be push. a button. It's just so weird. Upside down glasses are Tyler's weakness. Everybody, yep. Yep. hit him in yep. the streets with it. Yep. 
If you my see my one weakness, I'm. I think my weaknesses are like fucking. They're stacking. Name, yeah. I was no, trying to give you credit. That. Okay, you should have gone with it, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Name one strength. <laughs> we have completely broken Tyler. <laughs> so if we tuck our shirts in and wear our glasses upside down and start oh. zipping and unzipping our zippers at will, <laughs> gonna, Tyler will just explode into the ether. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Star. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, we cleaned that cat box a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man oh you know i realized uh i haven't talked about this yet uh, so i saw um the new spider-man movie last week isn't it amazing uh, it was ch the choices cuts let me let me tell you audience the choices cuts <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah this back out the right way now the uh safe space tyler thank space. god I'm just animation deep style your eyes, you know the uh everything <laughs> the about soundtrack it. rocked um the animation style was cool. Uh, the humor was uh, was great, and you know everyone had their glasses on upside down. <laughs> my kind I of guess movie. It's a, it's a guess movie I'm never Finally, the representation my people have been lacking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dance um, culture is not their problem. I, I I know we, we've we've talked about it before, so I'm not going to delve too much further into it. But it was very yeah very radical. Yeah, it's I, up there, man. I watched uh, the last season of Voltron this week. It was. Uh, I still need to dive back in. I watched the first few episodes of the first season, and you should... it is outstanding. It's okay, I thought you were going to say that you lost steam because it's. Well, everyone incredible. knows the superior show is Robotech. Okay, <laughs> sure, God, sure. <laughs> but yes, if, if for anyone who has not seen Voltron, that is one of the best like reboots of a uh, old. Yeah, I agree. Like um, cartoon ever. It's, Voltron, it's the, fucking incredible. The original Thundercats uh, reboot was actually was it good? super good I, as well. Not the new one, not the new Thundercats reboot, but the one oh. that they uh, they did a reboot of it in like 2013. It I had think? more of like an anime style. Yeah, to it. yeah, yeah that's the one I was thinking about. I, th I thought it looked. That cool. was really really Thundercats. good. Ho! I started watching <laughs> She-Ra too. The new She-Ra. It's, it's pretty outstanding. Good. It's, I love. I, I liked it a lot too. I absolutely love it. I, I, I really like the original Thunder. Later so in I her career, she became Shira, Principal of Power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, um, but yeah, I cried with Voltron. The ending of the ending of season eight, I was a little bit of a. I, I'm apparently becoming emotional in my old age. I see you and just. <laughs> But like he the can last, see you as well because I, he needs those glasses in order to see so much. I don't do this because I want to. I do this because I have to. <laughs> you get to one one mishap at lens crafters and you're screwed for the rest of your life. <laughs> no, I'm I'm a sucker for. I, if I get into something, it's I, I cried my eyes out at uh, Adventure Time, man. Gravity uh, Falls yep. for me. And yeah, funny. Gravity yep. Falls as well. Yeah. Over the yeah. garden wall. Over the garden wall. Absolutely. Mm. So good. Steven Universe continues to make me cry like a baby. Yep. Yeah. Rock facts. I don't even care. Yeah, the Rock last facts. the last episode of Voltron. I'm I, like literally the last 15, 20 minutes of it. Or, well, it's only a twenty minute episode, but, <laughs> but last half of it, I'm just sitting there like, oh god, why, yeah. why? Yeah. It was just so sad. Um, so just emotions, heard. emotions. Yeah, it makes me. Uh, I I really want to dive back into that. You need to. Um, mm. It's a quick watch too. It's eight seasons, but they're very short seasons. Like only. six episode seasons, just six, kind of thing. Six or to six to ten. Ten episodes, sure. twenty two minutes each. Like you can get through it in a in a week. Mm -hmm. What else happened this week? Um. Oh, uh, we did the thing on Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh. So we got a Brooks bunch of Megadeth Brooks recorded. been recorded. It yeah. actually happened. Yeah. 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 Yes, we played the groundbreaking Mega Man X Nine, which <laughs> doesn't, doesn't <laughs> yeah. exist. Actually, we played uh, we played X Three. Um, I sucked at it. I sucked at it real bad. Um, f for a little bit, and then I stopped sucking, which well, was yeah. important. It is a it's an yeah, important that's, transition. Well, yeah, yeah, that's dealing, a very dealing. important <laughs> step in the. Yes. Dan in got the get good. good process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even need blast processing to do it. <laughs> no, th things got prickly when he was dealing with Sawaro Bill, but you know, you're just going to have to tune in to find out what that even means. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> tune in next time on Dragon or Dan and Brooke Z. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of things that I'm playing, uh, you guys will be thrilled to know you won't hear about Neo for a while until Neo 2 comes out. Did you finish the Infinite Floors? I did. Are you fucking Damn. kidding me? I, what, what How many floors are there? There's nine, 999. You, That's what? 
False advertising. <laughs> you should get your money back. Yeah, honestly. No, um, I, I, I think it, it it says that there's 990. Yeah, it? it's yeah. it's called the yeah. abyss. It just it it doesn't matter once you hit like 438. It's like the hardest difficulty in the campaign already. So beyond that, you're just cheesing things to get through it. Yeah. Um, it gets really boring. Uh, it was kind of a letdown. It's what you would expect to happen when they make endgame content that's just. Uh, rehashing of all of the things that you've been doing already. Oh, over but this enemy is a different over. color now. Yeah, exactly. Um, Palette swaps. And, yeah. You know. But yeah, uh, I'm going into Neo 2. I believe it comes out this year, I'm, I think. I don't know how much we've heard about I'm it. I'm pretty sure it does. I think it is. I think it does. But the, in the don't mid- encourage it was, his, it was his, shown off. Don't encourage his problem. <laughs> it was uh, shown off at E3 last year. In the, uh, in the meantime, I have picked up Dead Cells, and that game has... Dead Cells is so good. It has it thoroughly amazing. taken my soul. Uh, I am going in. T- I've already beaten the first playthrough of it. Uh, now we're going on to the like boss cells and everything. It's oh, awesome. so you already beat the king and and everything. I beat him on my fourth playthrough. Already, god damn it! Yeah, Where do you fuck find you. I play these play type. These I play games. these types of games all the time. This is the type of thing that I greatly enjoy. It's so satisfying all the way through. I- I'm happy. So there's no release date for Neo Two, but it is 2019. Yes, awesome. You know, uh, so you know what other what other uh, much heralded and long awaited game that didn't have a release date for a long time? Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> and then it sucked ass. You know what that turned out? Oh man, Neo Two will be the Duke Nukem Forever of the it's, Neo no, series. No, it's not. They're <laughs> they're so great God. at making these games. Half Life Three is the new. Yeah, it's the new Duke Half, Nukem. They're Forever. never gonna make it. Well, they've already yeah, said, they already they, said they, they said they're, they're never gonna make it. Yeah, they're not gonna. Make it wouldn't matter anyway. They don't have the appropriate team of writers anymore. It, if they well, made it, it would be the Portal Two writer came back. Okay, um, he's still alive. The uh, it's alive. But I got you, Brooks. Thanks. The um, uh, they yeah out, outright said that they the hype culture uh, is garbage that they'd never be able to meet anyone's expectations yeah. if they actually did make it and it, it they don't want to deal with with the blowback from that. So Plus, there's no reason for them to make a game. Yeah, anymore. because there's no reason for them to make games, period, because nope. they're uh, making so much money as a distribution platform. And that was what they said. They, they said that they've completely stepped away from being a game developer. They don't care about that anymore. They're a distribution platform. Which is very disappointing. It's, it, is it is a bummer. But it's a bummer, I, but it's also a pretty safe business strategy, I guess. It really is. I, yeah, but so is Konami making pachinko machines. It doesn't make me feel any better that we're not going to get any more Silent Hill games. Or another real Metal Gear Solid game. There or was news. a real Metal Castlevania game. Or Shut the fuck. There was news with uh, <laughs> Silent Hill this week. What? Kind of. Yeah, you know, they're gonna call it Silent Hills. Hill, uh, a new fan-made version of the Silent Hills PT. When uh, remember how they had the little demo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the new Silent Hills. Yeah. Uh, there's a new si- Silent Hills or a new fan-made version of the, that Silent Hills PT, and it's got uh, VR support. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds like something okay. that's, so, sounds that's not like technically. Like, that's it's not, not news. It's not technically. I got everyone Silent really Hill news, excited but, for. Yeah. I, I got people really excited for that. But <laughs> yeah. But it's still. We should I mean, definitely do it. We're gonna make you play it for sure. Yeah. I we are. know. Yeah, I hesitated to bring that up. Terrify Tyler is a thing. I, I Terrify Tyler is a thing up. that is not restricted to October. Seriously, like the last two days since they or three days since they released that video and and like that the news that it's out i i i've had that <laughs> that article pasted in our group chat <laughs> <laughs> and you're like should i should i send this should i do it and or it, do like, i just <laughs> hope that they don't find out on their own <laughs> and then, see what happens when i drink this is what happens i hurt myself <laughs> um so uh, I found out something very weird uh, recently. It's Tyler's fault. I didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> He's probably right. I will blame Tyler for this. Excellent. That's what I'm here for. The Orville. Uh, so the Orville season two uh, debuted, yes. uh, uh, premiered on, on Sunday. <laughs> and <laughs> episode two of it came out on Thursday, which is going to be their uh, normal air night is uh, Thursdays. Um the Orville on as a series, I am going to kick you out of this room. Uh, the Orville as a series. <laughs> he turned to look. <laughs> it works. Sorry, please continue. The Orville as a series has a twenty-seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, real star. Critic Trek score players. of twenty-seven percent. Are you 
fucking audience me. score of 97 percent. well yeah it's guess which one is more important the people who actually watch it yeah well i mean like it's and with the disappointment of star trek discovery because like uh, i'm I, I am a huge star trek fan and there is nothing more disheartening than seeing that a franchise that you love has done something oh, that's it, been yeah. I guess the series is at 63%, but I saw a, a thing. It must be an episode or something or, or a season or something like that. If, that yeah. If it, disagreeing with Rotten Tomatoes means I have shit taste, then I'm okay with it because I disagree with their ratings on things almost fair, all the time. To be fair. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, season one, 27%. Okay. But we're, when, when... Okay, then what the... Where's the 63%? I have no idea. <laughs> There's not a season two. Uh, but, I mean, there is now, but... Look at so with 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 Rotten Tomatoes, the one thing that makes it like uh, that I, I think that a lot of people don't understand is it's uh, rotten. It's not that they're giving it like a super. It, it's people who say it's 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 like a yes or no basically system with how if it's rotten or if it's fresh. Sure. Well, it's uh, and it, there's a lot of it's, so like three out of five can be rotten. Yeah. And you know I, I don't know. I feel like there's a and right there it's a five point two two out of ten average rating. Yeah, that's better than a twenty seven percent on a tomato meter. You know what does what I mean? God friended me? Four point six out of five average it's rating. It's definitely for audience. God friend. It's whatever it is. It's got fifty nine percent. Oh, that's oh that new no! Looks like I hate it. That's that new uh, the. Uh, oh, it's a show. Yeah, is there a synopsis? Uh, so I can mock it. Here's the critical consensus. A sincere and thoughtful handling of spiritual themes helps God Friended Me overcome and even benefit from its earnest approach to a potentially off-putting premise. All right, so now we have to find out what the fuck this premise is. I think I saw the uh, trailer for this. It's just another... It seems... Well, at like, a glance, like it's another insufferable inclusion of social media into an entertainment form to, you know, get in with the kids. Uh, if the I remember series right, chronicles, what channel is oh, CBS? The okay. series chronicles the life of Miles, an outspoken atheist who is sent a friend request on Facebook by an account named God. Barf. This account sends Miles suggestions for new friends, people in Miles' hometown of New York City, that will require assistance. Initially skeptical, Miles decides to follow these suggestions to help people. During his first such request, he meets and befriends Kara, a struggling writer. Together with Kara and his hacker friend Rakesh, Miles Ugh. also Hacking tries to find Rakesh. out who is behind the God account. Uh, little did they know that it's not, you know, it's not the great I am, but it's no. in fact Dagon. <laughs> 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 but that was almost exactly what I thought the premise was going to be before you yep. even read yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not surprised. It, it, it's it's yeah. like the new Touch by an Angel. Yeah. yeah. And I know that I hate it. There's just no way yep. that I wouldn't hate that. Yep. Yeah. So back to the Orville, though. Yeah. Um, uh, as a star as a as a long time third generation Star Trek fan. Um weird flex you, but okay yeah I, well i get to flex that i'm so fucking proud of being a star trek fan like that <laughs> oh. um but an inclusive one um the orville picks up where they should have left off yeah as far as like you can do a side-by-side -side comparison of like oh, i want to use voyager as an example they use like uh as far as pacing goes uh story structure and even down to the music cues it just feels like Feels like you're watching, you know, some good old TNG. Yeah, or, absolutely. Or Voyager, or you know, the, the good stuff. It is super just, TNG. Yeah, uh, but what's nice, what I really like about it is that it's, it's not Discovery. Yeah, well, <laughs> that it's not Discovery. Also, that um, the they deal with family themes, like the whole yeah. families. It's not just a cruise ship or whatever. Like there's yeah, they had their family. They have their board. families on board. They live there, like. The first episode of season two deals with the school that's on the ship, and it, it's really cool. It's it's I like it makes it it gives them the opportunity to tackle you know real uh, life things, which is something that Star Trek has always or, that's well, what Star Trek's meant up until recently. Mm -hmm. um, something that Star Trek has done a very good job of addressing. Yeah, uh, social problems in a in a quote perfect society. Right. Yeah. Because, like, you know, it's, it's that's just it's part of the reason why Star Trek is 
wholesome and, and good. Utopias I mean, don't exist. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. One of the reasons, uh, or one of the uh, episodes that I really loved uh, in season one was the one where they go to a planet where everyone rates everyone That else. was amazing. Yeah. You mean, you mean Actually, planet Meow Meow Beans? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yes. Uh, and I mean, shit, that's actually kind of happening right now Did in China. One? There's a social. Yeah, I hate the, the social, social credit, credit system. system yeah. Oh, yeah. it makes me mad. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, did, it was a great episode. Did the uh, Black Mirror episode that did a very similar thing come? I think it did come it came before. after. It came community. after Community. Yeah. Because okay. Meow Meow Beans. came after Community before the Orville. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, Meow Meow Beans was uh, the first that I can think of. That's I just like, like that. Yeah, I'm sure, I will be proven wrong, but I just like seeing S uh, Starburns in that Zardoz outfit. <laughs> I lo love Zardoz unabashedly. Oh man, it is the year of Zardoz. It is. It is, is it the year really? of Zardoz and is, Blade it is Runner. It is the year of Blade Runner and Akira. Yeah. So we're all gonna have to start dressing like, like they do in uh, yeah. Zardoz, yeah. Zardoz, and, and Blade Runner. Yeah, maybe like a mix, a healthy mix. Doing and like, Akira. so Blade Runner, <laughs> honestly, and Akira. I'll turn into a disgusting flesh monster so I can cosplay something from Akira. Thank you. Good. Very good. Yeah, I got it. We appreciate. it. I got you guys. We, we, we appreciate your. We appreciate your sacrifice. <laughs> why would you pat him on the shoulder without looking at him? I mean, That's you very know rude. You know why? It's super rude. Look him in the eyes and it's easy to see. One and one, one is two, two, one and one. Look at Dan. Three. <laughs> it was That's destiny. not destiny. It is destiny. <laughs> uh, so we have a voicemail this week. What? And I'm hesitant to play. Oh, hey, really quick. Yeah. Do you know what? Uh, I think it was either today or yesterday was the 20th anniversary of... Voicemail? What's up? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you, mean, you mean Rosebud, right? Rosebud! Rosebud! <laughs> all right, now we've got all of our throwbacks in. Yes. Yay! Yes. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know who this one came from. This is from. a terrible joke. This joke is right up my alley, man. This is perfect. <laughs> oh. I've heard this, on, a, on. Okay, heard this a million times. I've heard people say it in character during D and D sessions. Hold on, hold on. We haven't played it yet. Hey Ryan, what kind of armor is best used for sneaking? Leather, because it's made of hide. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at, at, at least it's not my fault this time. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. God Ugh. damn it. Oh, yeah, I should probably tell people if they want to leave a voicemail for us, they can do so at a number that I am currently retrieving. Uh, at 805-222-6287. You, too, can, I hesitate to encourage it, leave your most groan-worthy puns. Please do. Ryan hates them. It makes us all laugh. Well, it makes me I'm laugh. not. I, hey, Tyler, look at Dan. I keep on accidentally making eye contact on that side, and it makes me sad every time. <laughs> like, if you go back and look at the footage, like, we're gonna, you're going to see it every once in a while. I'm like, ha, <laughs> uh, well, And like I try and say every week, I'm still waiting for someone to send me hate mail through the voicemail. Please. I don't know why. But yeah. <laughs> actually, say something mean to me. I'm okay with it. And Dan has fixed his glasses now, so it's safe. I don't yeah, believe fine. you. I, no, he did. I, I don't believe you. Not uh, doing it. Not doing that's it. what makes this funny. See, that's how the bird. Mm. That's how uh, people in uh, Bird Box died, right there. Burb Box. Burb Box. Burb. Burb, Burb Box. Burb Box, California. Uh, and Burbs with our. We also have uh, a uh, partnership Ooh. with Humble Bundle. Uh, the new games for uh, this week came out uh, on Friday, uh, and uh, Some good ones right for there. the Humble Monthly Bundle. Uh, so this month's uh, Humble Monthly Bundle games are Cube 2, so Observer, good. which is amazing. And I we love that Tyler game. Tyler play it. So, yes, uh, you should play that game. It's cool. Okay. Annoyingly, Sundered All is right. in it, and I had just bought Sundered. Uh, Wizard of Legend, I heard, uh, I heard that Just Cause good. 3, Double XL Edition, and Project Cars 2. Uh, what is, I have to ask, oh, wait, what is Wizard more. of Legend? Because this actually sounds like something I might enjoy. Wizard of Legend cool. is a roguelike. Uh, it's uh, this background. You play a wizard. 
So Cube two, Sunlight. Observer, Sundered, Observer, Wizard is- of Legend, uh, Just Cause three, Project Cars two, Regions of Ruin. The Dark Side Detective. Ooh, oh, is that from that. Uh, the Uncanny Valley guys? <laughs> Rumbo First Blood. Rumbo First Blood. Oh, all right, all right. Well, I got to play. Some I got to check out some. Ru- Ru- okay. Is Dark Side Detective from the same uh, from Uncanny Valley guys? I don't that looks think like a so. Very similar uh, art it style. Looks like it's. I mean, it's the same sort of style. I, I've played a couple of games that are that that same kind of uh, yeah thing. Also, you you have to play Observer because t- it's talking about this year is the year of Blade Runner. Rucker Hauer is the main character. Yeah. Really? Okay, yeah. I want to play it so Observer bad. is great. I'm down. It's 100% down. Uh, futuristic, uh, you know, biohack you know, kind of thing. Si- it's yeah. a cyberpunk yeah. uh, cop thriller. Ooh. And it was done by the uh, by Team Blooper, who did, um, or Blooper Team, uh, who did uh, Layers of Fear. Yeah. Okay, I'm down. I'm 100% You'll have down. to check it out, because that's where the game was made. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and Sundered is awesome. Um, a lot of things yeah. that play. And it's play some games, dingus. Yep, I, I just from the little cutscene I just oh, saw. I Wizard know I Legend. like Wizard yep. of Legend. Yeah, you, you're gonna like it a lot. <laughs> um, you can like it because you're bad. So yeah, uh, <laughs> all of those games. It's too late to grab those uh, if you are not already a humble monthly subscriber. Um, so but, we hope the cock tease was worth it. Uh, those did just come out on Friday, and they were all you get them all for twelve dollars. Um, I, I have to play Roomba First Blood. <laughs> Roomba First Blood. I have to. Uh. And uh, the early unlocks for February are Yakuza just... Zero and Tom Clancy's The Division. Did you I might that? actually have to do this. I mean, I would love to throw Tom Clancy's The Division in the garbage. Um, but Yakuza Zero is something I absolutely want to play. That series, from everything I've seen, is hilarious. So get those two games for twelve bucks now, and then it, like six, seven more games uh, on the first Friday of February. What a deal! Welcome yeah. to the bundle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, head on over to toplessrobot.com/humble, and uh, we get it, we benefit from that. It's how we make any uh, money aside from ads on the website. Uh, and we greatly appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh, cool. plus, right. I mean, it's just cool, such cool. a good fucking deal. I've been a subscriber forever. Yeah, that's it's insane. Worth it. Because super the division, I think, is still like twenty, thirty dollars. Yeah, you buy it by something like that. It's yeah. it also comes with uh, games with gold or not games with gold, but uh, the uh, what's the the no? It's uh, Xbox's monthly thing where. Uh, it, uh, or it's not. We don't a talk about thing. Xbox here. You <laughs> get uh, access to a whole bunch of games, yeah, whatever. I, I yeah, um, um, my uh, Zeke's got some. I thought like it was games with gold. No, games with gold are each month you get two games, two or three games, or something like that uh, for free. By the by, with uh, by the with that this was humble the most Irish thing. thing I've ever heard you say. Yeah, but he's also the most Irish that you've ever looked at. Well, you'll, hear more, you'll, you'll hear me say more things like that in the future. By the, uh, by the talking, by. Either way. Um, Don't be killing the little people. <laughs> um, you get keys from this, right? So if it's a game you already own, you they're, can just gift a copy to yep, somebody. They're all Steam keys. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Keys Super worth it. I've kingdom. got a ton of keys. We'll actually probably do a giveaway. Like Keeper some of kind the of seven keys. Ooh, I like that. Uh, of all of the key, the extra keys I have, because at this point I probably have over 100 extra keys. On Whoever Apple sends Apple. us the most money will win this. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Keys. Just right. buy us a whole bunch of fucking monocles from yeah. SNBC oh, Comics, yeah. please. <laughs> all right. On that note, uh, thank we, you for watching. Wait, Time do we have end. any any uh, any rants? rants? Any rants? Oh wow, yeah, it's been a while since we've we done rants. We haven't done rants. We're running a little long though. I'm not angry about anything. Too long for rants. Okay, I, I, I have a little you mini have, rant. Go for it. it it's, 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 no, 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 go on. Well, you I don't know. I, I saw a really stupid article wait. today. You can say your rant, but you have to look at Dan while doing so. <laughs> but make sure you speak into your microphone. This one's for you. <laughs> God damn it. Steal your resolve, Tyler. <laughs> Steal your resolve. Okay, I saw a really stupid article today. Uh, it was about... <laughs> God damn it, this is really hard. <laughs> it's hard to concentrate. So, uh, it's self-driving cars. And uh, apparently, people in uh, Chandler, because uh, we're uh, actually a very big hotspot for 
God, this is hard. <laughs> it's because it's because our roads we're we're on, we're on a grid. Yep. But uh, so Waymo is. Yep. They're they're testing here a lot, and uh, apparently here in uh, Chandler Gilbert, there's been a lot of issue, a rash of issues with people throwing shit and tr- actually like literally assaulting or trying to like destroy these cars. Really? Yes. Like it's been like twenty. Yeah, I, or I read that article 30, as well. 20 or 30 instances within the last year or two of people like trying to run the run the uh, cars off the road because they don't fucking trust it. They don't like they th- it's all old. people. Well, it's because we had that one death, the one death, which wasn't Waymo. It was Uber and Uber right. trying to rush that system out. Yeah. And it's just like so I, I'm sitting there reading this well, article. Uber's pulled out. Yep. Uber's Uber not completely out pulled out because right they yeah. didn't they don't even do the self-driving thing anymore. God, I hate this so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but uh. Uber Uber completely pulled out because they did not put the the test the testing in that needed to be done. They tried to rush it to market. They're trying to beat Google yeah. basically, and they couldn't because they don't have the power. They don't have the they don't have what Google has. Obviously, they don't money. Have and for for those who don't know, Waymo is Google's yes. is what Google's uh, uh, self driving car. It is, would just look very called. silly if they had Google slapped on the side yeah, of the right. van. Well, it's part of Alphabet, I believe. Is uh, at first, yeah. and then yeah. they. Uh, moved it over to their own thing but uh basically i mean it was the the most like old man screams at the sun kind of like thing that i've ever read in my life and it's just like so i'm like sitting there i'm like okay do do people not really understand like how much safer life like driving would be Forty thousand car deaths like forty thousand deaths via via vehicular uh collisions and everything every year just just in the united states alone and so i'm, I'm like looking up this and looking trying to find stats so i could back up my rant that i'm already going in and it's just like i find all of these articles and it's a whole bunch of social justice not social justice warriors but stupid people that are like hey you know these all these stats that say you know there's only been one single automated car death Mm -hmm. and the this has been going on since 2012 2013 10 million miles way more by itself 10 million miles one death uh, uh, I think in last uh, st- statistics I could see was uh, 2015. There was 14 total crashes in 2015, or like since they started, uh, that were all just basically rear ending. So they they stopped like making that information public, and it just like it makes me so mad. But because like every other every article that I read online, it's just people being like, it, it, it's like oh. You know, all the statistics say it's bad, but, you know, this is my take on that. And it's like, you know what? You fuck you. Do you know how, like, like do you understand, like, how much safer it's going to be to have just, like, the ability to not have the human element behind the wheel and to stop, like, drunk driving, to stop people from just being distracted, texting. Like, it, even it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But there's so many people that are just extremely afraid of this new technology, and it's coloring, uh, it's, it's it's coloring how we're making policy about it. Like, because now there's new stuff going through Congress where it's like, okay, yes, we can do automated cars, but uh, there needs to be like a human safeguard. Like, they someone needs to take over, and it's like, no, that shouldn't be how it is. It's because- automation. Yeah, right. And because, like, how many times are you gonna sit there and like freak out? I hate this so much. Well, like, <laughs> I'm, like how many? Like I, I know myself. I'm a very anxious person. If I'm driving, I see someone coming at me. I'm gonna hit that fucking button. Um, and like, uh, I'm well, sorry. Like, I just really hate I, it. I'm, I'm with you on that too. And something that a lot of people f- like that fail to see is that um, that kind of having an automated car is going to change the world for people that can't drive. Exactly. Yep. Blind folks. You have like 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 my clients like. Uh, you know, uh, mentally, mentally disabled people. Uh, you have old folks that can't, yep. that, that shouldn't be driving anymore. Yeah. Um, and the world will be a much safer and chill place to drive. And in. I love uh, uh, the way that uh, this technology was portrayed in the film Upgrade. Um, it was. I never saw Upgrade. It, we, is, is it the Ben the Ben Kingsley one? Uh, is Ben Kingsley in that? I can't remember. It's kind of cyberpunky, yeah, uh, yeah. and it's the dude who gets an AI, like he gets in a car accident, uh, or he gets into, he gets attacked, yeah, and loses mobility from the neck down. Oh, I haven't seen that, but it um, is 
Amazing. That's, that's the one with Brian Cranston in it, right? It just came out. Is Brian Cranston? I don't know. No. Oh, okay. It's Logan Marshall Green and a whole bunch of other people that. Yeah. And it's it's the dude who looks like Ed Hart or Ed Hardy. Ed, who's the Hardy? Uh, oh, um, sorry, I was making Ed Hardy like the, like the clothing brand. No, um, no. Uh, Tom Hardy. Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. Yes, he Ed, looks Matt, like it's it's got, Logan Marshall Green. Yeah, oh, okay. looks exactly like Tom Hardy. But but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with it you is, on this. It is. It came out a while ago, but it is amazing, and uh, uh, it's like one of those. Uh, not far in the future, the the not too distant future. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, um, I recognize they uh, portray uh, self driving cars in that, and they do a very good job of it. Yeah. I think uh, it's that kind of like mobile meeting room, basically, kind of thing where you can black out the windows if you want, or have them display something, or you know whatever. But you're sitting comfortably in your personal self driving car on the way home. Yeah, which yeah. which would be, be nice. Amazing, yeah. be really nice. It just, it just really irks me to see all of these people that, like, obviously don't understand. I I understand you don't need to keep on pointing your eyes in his direction. I see it. I see it. But it's like people that don't understand. Like, there it's just it's it really is. I get it. See, I can't even make my point. <laughs> I hate you guys. Finish I hate your you rant. So much. Finish your. At rant. the end of the day, it's just like it. It feels like a whole bunch of people that are just way afraid of advancement afraid of technology i understand that there are some issues that need to be worked out that's why this is being tested that's yeah. why we are going like it's not it's not uh universally accept uh accepted anywhere right now like there's still stuff that needs to be worked out but like people that are throwing shit at these waymo cars because they just don't trust the fucking technology people that like are just writing these articles like oh the statistics say it's okay but you know what I'm an expert on absolutely fucking nothing I at all. I have a driver's license. That makes me an expert court of the state yeah. of Arizona. Yeah, I, I get it. I completely agree. All I can really say is the future is going to happen whether you want it to or not. And if you haven't learned that by now, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, don't, yep. don't hinder the future, you, especially you can't, when it's exactly. good. You can't hinder the future. You can't stop it from happening. Get it's gonna used to it. going to be the future it. soon, and, and I won't always be this way. When all of the cars are networked together and running in sync... It's going to be great. And, and, if, you, and, and, and if you don't think so, I, you're wrong. And Backstreet Boys. <laughs> and running Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> Play Fortnite and in my still automated vehicle. Night. We we just ported Skyrim to the new Waymo. <laughs> uh, can I floss in my new car? <laughs> oh, God. No, you can't. Uh, that was no, a good one. That was, that was a good rant. I like uh, that. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree completely. Yeah, we super... live in the year 2019 now, guys. Yeah. We like, live in a year society. Of Blade Runner. Yeah. Fucking get on with it already. Exactly. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> uh, we will end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to go to toplessrobot.com slash humble or uh, uh, also give us a call and leave us your worst puns or uh, take Dan down a peg or two. Good yeah. luck, losers. <laughs> He's already <laughs> on the lowest peg. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week. Bye Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs>